How's it going guys? It's Kyle the How To Guy123 here. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit and export a YouTube short in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we begin, let's talk about the requirements of a YouTube short. YouTube shorts are optimized for the YouTube app and smartphones, and your video must be uploaded in a vertical orientation. As a result, we'll need to edit our video in a 9x16 aspect ratio. It's a good idea to record your video vertically with a smartphone or camera, but in this tutorial I'll show you how to crop a full frame horizontal video into a vertical one. Additionally, YouTube shorts must be less than 60 seconds in length. So I just went ahead here and made a new project in Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and import our video clips. So just come down here to the project panel and double click on the blank space here to open up the file explorer. And I'm going to import these three clips here for our example YouTube short. So I'm going to go ahead and open them. Now we need to create a sequence. So once again, come down here to the project panel, right click, come up here to new item and then sequence. And once the sequence settings window has opened, we need first need to choose a sequence preset to base our settings off of. So I usually come here to the ABC HD folder, 1080p, and I usually base my settings off this ABC HD 1080p uh, 24 preset. So just go ahead and click on it to highlight it. And now we can come over here to our settings tab and set up our sequence to edit a YouTube short or vertical video. So under editing mode, click on the drop down and then scroll up to the top and choose custom. Under time base, just choose the frame rate that your video clips were recorded in. So the video clips that I'm using in this tutorial were recorded in 24 frames per second. So I'll just leave it at roughly 24 frames per second. However, if you record your clips with a smartphone, they were probably recorded in 30 FPS. So that's the one you're gonna to want to choose. Or if you're editing a YouTube gaming short, it was probably recorded in 60 FPS, so you're going to want to set your time base to 60 frames per second. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave mine at 24 for this tutorial. Uh, now under frame size, this is the most important part, and it's where we're going to tell Premiere Pro that we're editing a vertical video. So you can see here right now, uh, our aspect ratio is 16 by 9. So all we really need to do is flip the 1080 and 1920 values of our resolution to make our frame size 9 by 16. So for a 1080p YouTube short, I'm going to set the horizontal to 1080 and I'm going to set the vertical to 1920. And you can see our aspect ratio is now set to 9 by 16 and this is going to allow us to edit a vertical video. Other than that, I usually leave the rest of the settings at default. Next, I usually come up here to the tracks tab and you can see that this preset gives us six audio tracks and that's pretty unnecessary. So I usually check these 5.1 surround sound audio tracks and then I click on the minus button to delete them because having six audio tracks is pretty unnecessary. Uh, next, we can come back to the settings tab, click on save preset. So every time we want to edit a YouTube short, we can just choose our presets and start editing and we don't have to configure our settings every single time. So I'm gonna call this YouTube short, click on okay. And now in the sequence presets, under the custom folder, you can see we have our YouTube short preset. So every time you want to edit a YouTube short, you can just choose the YouTube short preset. Uh, let's now give our sequence a name. So I'll call it tutorial, click on okay. And we have successfully created our sequence. And you can see that the aspect ratio of the preview box here is nine by 16, or, you know, it's in a vertical video. So now let's begin editing our YouTube short. In this tutorial, I'll show you three different methods of editing your short. So first let's take a look at editing with video clips that were recorded vertically. So I have this example here and I'm going to drag it to my source panel and you can see that this video clip was recorded horizontally and it has an aspect ratio of 9 by 16. So I'm going to go ahead and set my in and out point. So I'll set my in point when the car comes into frame here and my out point when it kind of disappears in the trees here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, preview in the source panel and I'm going to drag the video clip to my timeline. And you can see that because we set up our sequence to edit vertical videos, the scaling of this clip is correct. There's no black bars and everything is scaled correctly. And now from here on, you can go ahead and edit your video clip just like normal. You can add text, music, and uh, whatever you want to do, or however you want to edit your YouTube short. Uh, but what if we were dealing with a video clip that was recorded horizontally, full frame, or you know, with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So I have this example here. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and set my in and out point. So I'll set my start point here at the beginning and then I'll set my out point when the car once again disappears behind the tree. And I'm going to go, go ahead and drag this to my timeline. It's a good idea to set in and out points in the source panel here. It just makes editing a little bit easier. And also keep in mind that your YouTube short cannot be longer than one minute. 
uh, or 60 seconds. So it's a good idea to maybe not use the entire clip and only use portions of your clip to keep your video a little bit shorter. Uh, but anyways, if we now take our playhead and we drag it on the timeline to where this clip is, you can see that the scaling of this clip is all messed up. We have these big black bars on the top and bottom of our video clip and our clip is cropped here. So to fix this, we're going to need to adjust the scaling of our clip. So go ahead and click on the clip in the timeline. Now come up here to the effects control panel and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at scale here. So if we increase the scaling, it's gonna zoom our clip in, but it's also going to get rid of the black bars on the top and bottom of our clip. And I find the sweet spot here is setting the scale to 178. And you can see that we'll perfectly get rid of our black bars. Uh, and it's gonna zoom in our clip here. So let's go ahead and take a look at position here. And we're gonna want to adjust the position here to however you want to frame your video in the vertical frame here. So increasing the X position is gonna move your clip to the left hand side and uh, decreasing the position is going to move your clip to the right hand side. So I'm just going to uh, position the road in the middle of the frame here, just like that. And there's our final product. Another thing you can do is I'm going to reset the position here. We can uncheck this uniform scale checkbox here and that will allow you to individually adjust the scaling width. So uh, decreasing the scale width will allow you to squeeze more into the vertical video frame here. Uh, you can see I can uh, squeeze my entire clip into the vertical video frame here. Uh, my clip looks kind of crappy and all squished in here. Uh, however, if you filmed your video with a wide angle lens, uh, this method also kind of works decently well with gaming videos. Uh, you'll be able to squeeze the entire video clip into your vertical frame here and it won't look too squished. Uh, however, in my case, this kind of looks like crap. So I'm going to, uh, you can also increase the scale width to uh, make it look a little bit better, but still squeeze more into the uh, video frame here. Uh, but in my case, I usually just leave uniform scale checked and leave the scaling at uh, about 178 and I just adjust the position so that the road is in the center here. Just like so. So here's one final example of editing a YouTube short. I've seen this method used in a lot of gaming videos or in, in a lot of gaming YouTube shorts. They usually just keep their horizontal video in the middle of the vertical frame, but then have this blurred out background. And I think it looks pretty good and professional. So I have this Halo Reach clip here. We'll use as an example. And once again, I'm going to set my endpoint and my game glitches out here. So I'll set my out point once I respawn, just like that. And I'll drag this to the timeline and I'm going to put it on track one. Once again, you can see the scaling of the clip is all messed up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the clip. I'm going to go back to effect controls and I'm going to um, I'm going to scale out the clip a little bit, but not entirely. So I'll leave parts of the left hand and right hand side of the clip uh, cropped out just like so. That looks good. Uh, I'm now going to I'll increase the uh, timeline here so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm going to highlight our game clip here and I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and I'm going to drag it to the second video track. So this is going to duplicate our video. So we have the same video duplicated on track one and two. I'm now going to highlight the video clip on track one, come back up here to effect controls. And I'm going to increase the scaling so it fills the entire vertical video frame, just like so. I'm now going to come over here to effects, uh, video effects, Blur and Sharpen, and I'm going to add a Gaussian Blur to the video on track one. Uh, now if we come back up here to Effect Controls, Blurriness, I'm going to set this to about 100. And you can see it's going to blur out our background here and give us that blurred out background effect. Uh, so now if we go ahead and play it. You can see that looks pretty good. So now that we're done editing, we can go ahead and export our YouTube short. So I'm going to set the playhead here to the beginning of our video. I'm going to mark my in point. Now I'm going to come to the end of the video and mark my out point. This is just going to tell Adobe Premiere to only export what's marked between our in and out points on our timeline. Also, once again, make sure that your video is under one minute or 60 seconds. Otherwise, your video won't be considered a YouTube short. So now we can come up here to file, export, then media. Once the export settings window has opened under format, set this to H.264. Under preset, we'll just leave this at match source high bitrate as a base for our settings. Under output name, just go ahead and save your video where you want to on your computer. And I'm just going to call my tutorial for this example and click on save. Under video, make sure that your, uh, your resolution is correct and in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. 
So for a 1080p YouTube short, your width should be 1080 and your height should be 1920. Also make sure that your frame rate is set correctly. Now check render at maximum depth. Under encoding settings, I usually set performance to software encoding. Uh, you can also choose to uh, export your video with hardware encoding. It's going to export your video faster and it does all your encoding with your graphics card. Uh, I choose software encoding because it's supported on most computers and uh, software encoding also allows you to export your video with a uh, two pass variable bitrate, which we'll get to in just a second. So we're going to scroll down a bit to where it says bitrate settings and under bitrate encoding, like I mentioned, I always set this to VBR, variable bitrate to pass. I set the target bitrate to 32. Uh, the reason why I choose 32 is that when you actually go to upload your video to YouTube, YouTube compresses the crap out of your video. I believe they'll compress it down to between 8 and 16 megabits per second, some, something like that. So my logic here is to uh, set your bitrate pretty high so then when your video is uploaded to YouTube and compressed, uh, it doesn't look so bad. So I export with a high bitrate so when it's compressed down it doesn't look too bad. And once you've set your bitrate settings, make sure to check use maximum render quality. And then finally the last thing I do is I come to the audio tab and I just make sure that the bitrate settings is set to 320. Uh, now we can come back up here to presets and then click on the save preset button. So anytime you want to uh, export a YouTube short, you can just set the preset and simply export your video and you won't have to change any of these settings. So I'll call it YouTube short, click on OK. And now we can go ahead and click on export to export our YouTube short. So because your video is pretty short, the export shouldn't take too long. And here is my video here. And if we go ahead and play it, you can see that the aspect ratio is 9 by 16 and that our video is vertical. So the last thing I want to touch on in this video is uploading your short to YouTube from your PC. It's very simple. You basically just upload the short just like any other video. So you just come to youtube.com, click on the upload button, upload video. Uh, now go ahead and select files and you're going to want to select your YouTube short. So I called my short tutorial.mp4. And now you pretty much just fill out the details like usual. So you can give your short a title. So I'll call mine test YouTube short. And then we're going to need to add the shorts hashtag either in the title of your video uh, or it can also uh, you can also put it in the description as well. The shorts hashtag just tells the YouTube algorithm. It just helps the YouTube algorithm determine that uh, this video is a YouTube short. And then you can pretty much just fill out the rest of the information like you would any other video. And there we go, our YouTube short has finished uploading. Finally, we can play back our short on our phone in the YouTube app. You can see that the video has the shorts icon in the thumbnail. And if we watch the video, it will open as a YouTube short. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.